Hi there guys, my name is Jake and welcome back to Console Sim Racing Reviews. In today's video, we're actually going to be going through this, the brand new Apex wheel stand from GT Omega Racing. So, let's get right on and get this one opened up. So this is the box as it was delivered to me, as you can see, very well packaged, nice and strong, but first things first, let's get into it. Run a knife down each side of the tape. Just there, and get that box opened up. So in the box, what we have here, slide it straight out, is mostly built up wheel stand. So, little box of extras here, we'll go through those very, very shortly. So, let's get this one opened up. So, as you can see, this one is finished in the same powder coated black as the rest of the GT Omega range. Um, absolutely fantastic looking and from my personal experience very very durable. So this is obviously the main part of the wheel stand. Open up this little box here. What we also have couple of the nice little GT Amiga racing stickers, they'll be to finish it off nicely. We've then got some of the nuts and bolts and things that will help keep this thing all together. Four of these, now these, absolutely fantastic. These are the feet that go on, um, rubberized, nice and wide. Um, these are completely non-slip on carpet, these are completely non-slip on um, laminate floors as well. Brilliant little bit of kit, so we've got four of those to keep it nice and stable, and then the steering wheel mount in there as well. Along with, now the last wheel stand didn't actually come with this included, but this one, it would appear, does, which is the bracket and the plate for a shifter mount which is a fantastic inclusion now in this wheel stand as well. So these are all my parts laid out nicely. Now it's just a case of putting them back together. So all we have to do is put the wheel stand onto its side here. These feet, nice and easy, screw into the four holes on the bottom of the stand. As I said, these are non-slip, these are absolutely brilliant bits of kit. Um, these will not only help protect your floor, but also help stop the wheel stand slipping out from under you as well while you're racing. So, let's get these four in. There we go, so that's it on the bottom. Pick that one back up. Now the next step for me is gonna be putting this steering wheel mount onto the top of the rig. So three bolts with the self-locking nuts in. We'll take those off. Now slide that one down so that the wheel stand, the wheel steering wheel mount actually sits either side on the outside of the built-in bracket. Now the front two here are completely fixed in. We'll get those on. Now what I do like about this is that you also get all the tools included that you will need to be able to build this rig up. So. 
And so again, you won't need to have own any specialized tools. You won't need to own anything extra just to get this rig tightened and built up. So that's the front two in, but your steering wheel plate now does this. So what they've got in the back is a third hole. Slide that through. which will then allow, once it's all done up and tightened, your steering wheel to manoeuvre up and down. So again, depending on the angle that you like, depending on how you like to race, that is completely optional about to how you set that wheel up. So we'll just put this one on for now. So nothing's going to be tightened up just yet, I'll do that once I've finished this part of the video. So. Next part for me, these two, so nice, big, easy to grip. Now, what these two nuts do, they screw in just here, and this allows you to fix your wheel at a given height. So, once this slides up, it's just a nice, easy thumb screw. You tighten those up, and depending on, obviously, how tall, how short you are, where you like your wheel, you can slide that up, slide it down, and then tighten those into place. The next part is this, which is just, as I said before, your shifter bracket. This is really, really easy. You've got these two long bolts here and your two locking screws. So this one, making sure that these two bolts are flat. If you get it the wrong way up, what you'll actually end up with is a vertical shifter mount and that's not going to be comfortable for anybody. So line it up with two holes. Now this can be mounted on the left side or the right side. Um, as you've noted in one of my videos before, you've seen my shifters on my other wheel stand. I live in the UK, our cars are right hand drive and therefore the shifters are on the left hand side of the driver. So this is the way that I find it comfortable. However, we've got exactly the same holes on this side of the wheel stand um, and because the, uh, the shifter mount obviously isn't pre-built one way or the other, all you'd then do is you've got holes on this side, which is where I'm going to be mounting it. You've got holes on this side, so if it were to be on the right-hand side of the driver, then obviously you could choose to do that as well. And again, these two little screws, these go through the side, into the side of the shifter mount there, and then we'll take our Allen key and just do them up nice and tight. And there we go. Building your GT Amiga rig is literally that easy. Next part of the video, what we're actually going to be doing is getting my steering wheel, my shifter, and my pedals mounted onto this. And then we'll try it out and give some racing. So, as you can see, obviously we've now built the rig. Um, I have taken the time to put these GT Amiga racing stickers around it because I say it's such a beautiful rig, I think the credit deserves to go for them while I'm sat playing. Um, what we're going to do now is attach my T300, my T3PA Pros and I've brought my TH8A shifter as well um, so that we can get all this connected and hooked up. Now included, you get all of these screws which use the included Allen key as well to affix straight on. So. We get this on and lined up. The first screw hole is just there. So this base plate doesn't just take Thrustmaster equipment, this is actually pre-drilled um, for Thrustmaster, Fanatec, Logitech. The big name wheels um, will just literally screw straight onto this base. So no adaptations, no extras needed. So there we go. Those two screws in and tightened. So you get them tightened up. And that is my T300 base all connected. The only thing I will need to now do is obviously reconnect the adjustment screw back in there. Had to lift it up because this beam actually sits across where the hex bolt sits for my particular wheel. The THA A shifter, just as simple. Again, exactly the same screws included. So under here, 
we'll just slot one of those through and there we go, get that one done up. Uh, another one in there. So this will actually hold four screws in the bottom of here. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, I think four is probably more than enough. Um, this would likely hold on to, but you know what? There are four screws included. Why not just use them all? So again, get these done up with the Allen key. is now on nice and secure nice and tight so the last step here is to get my t3pa pros now as you can see there are three pairs um, of openings all the way down these these are allowed for a complete and full adjustment of where exactly where your pedals are located so this again will be pre-drilled um, this will fit the majority of popular name brand pedals um, so you can obviously bring them all the way to the front here um, if you are particularly tall or you just like your, uh, your pedals a bit further away you can drop them all the way back now as I've said in my previous videos I do like to have my pedals quite close to where I'm sitting so I'm going to bring these in quite, quite well to the front now having test fit these I know that these sit on the outermost holes um, that is exactly where they line up these screws will go through the outermost holes so included are the washers, so obviously screw through the washer and then up through the hole is how I'm going to get these fitted in. So bear with me just one second and we shall have these fitted in too. Bring up the rake angle a little bit and that will allow this to take the weight of my pedals just while I'm getting those screwed into place. First one on, grab the next one. And get these done up nice and tight as well. So that's my pedals on, that's my wheel on, and that's my shifter on. Um, all we need to do now obviously is get these all wired in. Now one of the things I do like about this rig, and again wasn't included in my previous GT Amiga wheel stand, are these cable straps. So rather than as you've seen on my rig in the past, I've actually had to cable tie these all the way down. Um, what you can now do is use the included straps round and they're just velcro straps and that will hold all of your cables out of the way. Fantastic inclusion if you ask me. And so here we are all set up and ready to go. The last piece of this is going to be down to the adjustment of the steering wheel stand. Now I'll be honest with you everybody has different tastes everybody has a different personal setup the way that they would like it to be now with this wheel stand um, what you can adjust is you've got your two thumb screws here and this will allow you to move the wheel both down and up um, obviously infinite level of adjustments on that because it's just a thumb screw so there's no particular preset holes that you can screw into just do your two thumb screws back up and that is then set into place the other thing that you can do with this one as well which I'm particularly pleased with is change the rake of the pedals now I have on mine the T3PA Pros inverted as you guys have seen in my previous videos and obviously a bit earlier in this one um, and I don't 
want them to be inverted forward anymore. However, obviously if you're using the standard pedals or you're using the T3PAs in their flat mode, um, then you may want to adjust that rake of the pedals. And these can come up quite high. I've been very, very impressed with this wheel stand. But uh, let's get on with some racing and see what you guys think. very strong rig and so I've spent a bit of time with this GT Amiga Apex Racing wheel stand um, 
for me, like I say, it's a nice solid wheel stand. It's very, very well built, very, very nice and adjustable. So obviously you've got your height adjustment on your wheel, you've got your tilt adjustment on your wheel, you've got your tilt adjustment on the pedals as well. Like I say it's just an absolutely fantastic, very, very well built piece of kit. Now, a couple of downsides for me. At the moment, there is no way of being able to attach a seat to the back of this so you will have to have a standalone seat for this device um, that can be obviously an office chair a kitchen chair which is what you've seen me using in this video um, you can't however use obviously a, a rig chair because it won't attach to the back um, but that's obviously one side the other thing for me as well is that with my t3pa pro pedals on this rig it is a little bit heavy when you fold it up and it goes all the way vertical this does add a little bit of stress both to the rig and to the base of the pedals as well but if you're forking out on your rig and you're spending money on something like the T3PA Pros, actually the chances are you're not going to be looking at a wheel stand, you're more likely to be looking at a full size rig, um, which is something else that GT Amiga Racing do provide. Um, on the upside, it folds up very, very easily, it folds up very, very quickly, um, and it doesn't take up a lot of space when it's in its folded position. You can leave the wheel on, you can leave the pedals on, you can leave the shifter on, and that's nice and easy to put in a cupboard. So overall, this is a fantastic piece of kit. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, and for the money that uh, the GT Amiga are actually selling this at, it's a brilliant piece of kit. However, if you fancy a little bit more off, you can actually get a 5% discount using the discount code CSRR5. Um, and that will then get you a 5% discount off of anything on the GT Amiga Racing website. So head over to gdomegaracing.com and have a look for yourself. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video you're sure to like the rest of the videos that I'm going to upload so make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel and obviously share amongst your friends as well so they can get involved. If you've got some cool tech that you'd like to see reviewed and uh, assessed on my channel by all means hit me up on the email address that's on screen now.